Here's Steele. Wood set to go here in the top half of the first. Vasquez hits the first pitch foul. And with that, we're underway here at Wrigley Field. Inside. One and one the count to Vasquez. He put a good swing on the curveball, but fouled it off. High ball two. Pulled foul by Vasquez. Up high. And here's the pitch. Wood fields the ball. Wood steps on the bag for out number one. Top half of the first. No score. There's strike one. The 0-1. Oh. Good pitch, but not a strike. Ball one. That pitch hit hard, but foul. Oh. Fouled away. We'll do it again. And the count stays one and two. A swing and a miss by Loretta. That was a horrible swing right there and a good pitch. It was a nasty changeup. He didn't know what to do. There's ball one. The 2-0. Slider over and he misses strike one. Two away in the top half of the first. There's ball three. The cot said. Here's a 3 1. The cot said. A routine fly ball to Sosa. Out number three. Wood sets him down in order. Hill goes after the first pitch. Base knock to left. The third baseman. Caught by the third baseman. Sosa, with so many more at-bats against right-handed pitchers, had 38 of his home runs. Tabasquez. Two down. Alou got off to a slow start adjusting for the day games in Chicago, but he ended up hitting 275 with 15 homers and 61 RBIs. Up and in for a ball. Here's the 1 0 to Alou. Hi, ball two. Oh, let me show you my Dolphin gameplay setting for running the games in 4K. So let me go to the general first. I'm using the DirectX 11. You can easily use the DirectX 12. Only the downside is that when using DirectX 12, you cannot run the benchmarking tool. So that's why I'm using the DirectX 11. For me, both of them give me the same result. For the adapter, I'm using the dedicated GPU, which is the GTX 6060 Ti. Or if you are going to play games in 4K for the Dolphin GameCube emulator, I will suggest you to at least go with the GTX 1050 or GTX uh, 6060 or TI or higher graphic card because it will help you to play games smoothly and you can see so I leave the aspect ratio in auto sometime you running the games in 16 by 9 dip the frame rate and increase the GPU load for the enhan enhancement I'm using the 4k 6x for the internal resolution and for anti-aliasing i'm using the 2x if i try to go with 
2x or 8x it will increase my gpu load when i am running the games with 2x it will only increase the gpu load up to 50 percent some games will go above 50 percent that's why i need some space left for the gpu maybe some some games are rendering a scene which is very heavy so the fps is going to dip if i'm running at 4x or 8x the game is going to struggle a lot to run so 2x is the maximum I, I can recommend it so this all of the setting and everything remain the same for hack and advanced now let me show you for the config everything remain the same I didn't change anything so yeah these are the setting for the dolphin emulator to run the games in 4k you are free to use my game footage file make sure just to give me a credit to my gmail geek channel name and then i have done the entire gamecube games library in 4k so every day i'm uploading sing one video at least for it i hope you can subscribe share my video and then above all i want you to leave a comment to let me know do you think the game is playable how is the audio quality how is the frame rate let's start the discussion in the comment section box below gamecube revolution gamecube will live forever subscribe and bye